On the left we have a traditionally linearly scaled wrap reloaded at 150% scale, and on the right we have a Loomforge sized wrap reloaded also at 150% scale. Uh, Loomforge is unique because it can leverage parametrically sized geometry, and so all of the clearances in all of the joints here um, are constant, or are the same as what they would be in a 100% uh, sized device. So we've known for a long time that linear scaling uh, causes a lot of trouble in the joints. Um, so I'll demonstrate what the difference in kind of fit sounds like uh, chiefly through uh, when we rattle the devices. So here's the linearly scaled Raptor Reloaded. And now here is the parametric sized product of Limforge. And so again to compare. And most importantly, um, or another way of uh, seeing that is if we kind of wiggle the finger back and forth. So here it is on Limforge, so you can see just a little bit of wiggle left and right. And then here it is on the traditionally sized device. So you can see all of that um, additional space there, which allows the device to rattle and also uh, interferes with the kind of overall fit and function. And here you can see the much tighter fit on the uh, linear or the parametrically sized wrap reloaded from Limforge. So now that we've seen the physical results of what Limforge configuration can do, let's take a look at the actual uh, tool itself. So Limforge is something that I've been working on with a small team uh, for the past several months. Um, we're all largely based in the in the Bay Area, and uh, just over the past month or so, we've gotten to the point where um, actually all of the kind of minimum uh, functional feature set uh, is is here. So um, I just wanted to give everybody a quick walkthrough. Um, so uh, when you load the tool, um, it brings up this uh, nice kind of easy to navigate uh, 3D environment so you can orbit around and take a look at the uh, uh, device that you're configuring. Um, so you can select uh, left or right hands um, and then use a slider bar to um, select different sizes. So you'll notice that uh, here we have discrete sizes. Um, that's to just simplify the uh, set of possible sizes um, with the intention of moving eventually to um, a, a simpler sizing framework um, and away from linear scaling. Um, so I'll talk more about that uh, later. Uh, in addition, we have a drop-down menu here uh, that lets you select different uh, designs uh, for, for sizing. So again, you can select left or right um, and size from there. Uh, here we have also um, the Phoenix, which is uh, a design that I'm in the process of bringing into Limforge, um, but it's important to note that a device doesn't necessarily have to have been natively designed in a, uh, a parametric CAD tool um, to bring it into Limforge. Uh, it is important to note that you'll get the most uh, advantages, you'll be able to get the largest return on that parametric investment um, uh, if it's a, a, a fully parametric design. Um, but uh, if we just leave, say, the palm and the distals, um, some of the kind of most heavily sculpted um, models uh, as, as uh, uh, just as STLs that get linearly scaled, we can actually kind of pick up a lot of the slop in the joints uh, that are, arises from that linear scaling just with the uh, proximal phalange here. So that's uh, something that Peter Binkley actually pointed out um, close to a year and a half ago, actually, when we were working together on the, uh, the Raptor original. So, um, so again, uh, you'll get the kind of the most control with a fully parametric design, but that isn't to say that we can't use uh, designs made in, uh, in Rhino, in Blender, in Tinkercad, anything else. Um, so there's a lot of, uh, actually a lot of flexibility um, uh, to use, to couple, uh, kind of create a, a hybrid uh, design using both uh, mesh-based and uh, parametric models. Um, and the reason that this is all uh, possible is an approach um, uh, which uh, is, is relatively simple called uh, lookup tables. So we've basically um, 
pre-compiled the entire set of options um, and created a very large, um, well, it's not terribly large, but a large uh, uh, set of directories in which um, the tool, LimForge, can pull uh, the appropriately parametrically sized uh, model for a given, given requested size um, and then immediately serve it uh, when you click download. So um, it's a very quick process um, and it gives you a package with all of the files that you need, um, an appropriate license, uh, and documentation. And so with that, uh, I'll go ahead and show you the uh, GitHub. Um, so LimForge is a totally open source tool, so it's uh, uh, available right now, um, the source code is available right now on the uh, enable GitHub, so that's uh, github.com slash e hyphen enable slash LimForge. Um, so you'll be able to see um, all of the code that actually runs the tool, uh, as well as uh, get set up to run your own uh, local instance, um, which is actually part of the process for onboarding new devices. So if you go to the wiki and uh, visit the instructions, um, you'll see we've tried very hard to make this um, as, as simple a process for adding uh, new designs. So. Um, it's a matter of modifying a couple of JSON files and populating a directory with all of those uh, pre-compiled files. Um, but feel free to take a look at the uh, instructions here. Uh, additionally, feel free to take a look at the um, kind of current set of um, future uh, features. Um, and feel free to add, um, add to that uh, list of, of uh, features, requested features, um, by clicking the New Issue button here. Uh, or also to report any uh, any bugs that you might encounter. So with that, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, conclude this very brief um, overview of uh, LimForge and its capabilities.